This is the chronicle of 2023. On the eve of 2022, 31st December, religious leaders promised the people 2023 is going to be a year full of so many good things. The people rejoiced because they needed to hear that. But 2023 was going to be the end of the leadership of Muhammad Buhari, a man who came into power as early as 31st December 1983 as a military head of state, came back as a civilian because he had removed his military uniform and became a civilian because he had won a brother, contested in 2015 and won against Good Luck Jonathan. Finally, his eight years will be over in 2023. So Nigerians were excited. It is time for us to have a change of government. But the politicians, as usual, began to play the game of negative ethnicity. The Southwesterners screamed and screamed Emilokon. The Northerners screamed Born to Rule. And the Easterners, as usual, shouted on their voice, marginalization. But this was the time for something different to happen. The youths of the country built their support and decided it is time for a change to happen in the country. For the first time, Nigerian youth unified and decided to change the narratives of the country. It was a time for the man whom we call Pitobi, the man we call Okute, Ishi Awgoncha, to change the narratives of the country. Nigerians from the north, from the west and from the east teamed up and said, let us change the narrative for good. Muhammad Buhari promised Nigerians a free and fair election and Yakubu Mahmoud, who happens to be the leader of INEC, Promise us election that we will never forget. Ah, we never knew he meant that hyperbolically. And then, why Nigerian youth went out to get their voters card? Yakubu Mahmoud and other top INEC officials were working so hard to make sure that what was meant to work did not work out. And on the 25th of February 2023, Nigerians screamed on top of their voices, OB 71, OB 72. Obi 73. At the end of the day, it was surprising for us to hear Tinibu 79. Oh my goodness. Nigerians were disappointed. But again, they begin to play the card of negative ethnicity. The Westerners say, leave our brother. It is time for him to rule. The Northerners say, oh, our brother is the vice. Let's try them out. And the Easterners cried, marginalization. But Pito B being the stone, Ishia Goncha, refused and took the case to election tribunal. Tribunal referred us to Supreme Court. And Nigerians, again, decided to give the Supreme Court a benefit of doubt, believing that he who seek equity will do equity, believing that the standard of judiciary is the famous pillar of every democratic society because we are told that the court is the last hope of the common man but unfortunately for nigerians the benefit of doubt to get supreme court was thrown to the mud because supreme court interpreted what has never been interpreted they told us that what we thought was right was actually wrong and what we thought was wrong was actually right and in 2023 Bola Ahmed Tinibu was sworn in as the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. For the first time, Nigerians have a president that we are not sure if he's a male or a female, if he has a certificate or not. But what we know is that we have a president who said, Emilokan, it is time for us to rule. And when the people were still skeptical about the leadership of the country, hmm, it was time for a distraction to happen. They decided to bring a distraction. And this time around, they call it Big Brother Niger All Stars. Our people got their face and their mind glued to the television scene, and everyone forgot about the election that was allegedly rigged. And while we were watching television, it was time for the government of Bola Ahmed Tinibu to lay its hands on Emefle, the one who used Nala scarcity to kill all of us. And for the first time, we had the call say, Release a man. And DSS said, no, we will not release a man. 2023, the man called Akubo decided to say it is their turn and everyone should wait for their turn. But Nigerians screamed on top of their voices, 
What kind of man does not hear the cries of the people? But again, Nigerians, being getting used to suffering, pushed ahead and started promising. In 2023, a lot of people prophesied that the government would turn to good. In 2023, men that we respected said we should not speak. We should pray that the government of Bola Tinibu will favor us and our family. Hmm. These men must think that we are crazy. But that's not all. In 2023, Nigerians witnessed the death of a very young artist who has a potential future. Oh, the death of Mubad. Mubad, born in 1996, a man from the Southwest. But for the first time, the youth in the Southeast and the youth in the Southwest screamed on top of their voices, justice for Mubad, justice for Mubad. A lot of people took to social media all around the world asking for justice to be brought to the young man. His dead body was excavated from the ground for an autopsy to be carried out. But till today, Nigerians have not heard of talk, talk less of topsy. And the people screamed, DNA test, DNA test. This was the statement of very dark man, the man whom 2023 made a celebrity. Don't play, else you will learn. The people screamed, no, all those who were involved must be brought to book. But at the end of the day, nothing happened. Nothing happened. Case of Mobad is forgotten. But we all are waiting for the day in 2024 that will make it one year remembrance of Mobad's passing on. And then Tunde North will post it. Oh, rest in peace Mobad. It is one year already. And all the celebrities will start posting it. Rest in peace Mobad. Oh, light, lamb, light. But yet, we move. Nigerians forgot the case of Mobad. And to date, it is being a story that we call when we were children. Story, story, story. After so many up and down, the cause of the death of Mobad was never ascertained. And all the people who were allegedly involved in his death are all around Nigeria having party and releasing their songs. And Nigerians have forgotten and as usual, moved ahead. This is the nature of the Nigerians. They always scream and at the end of the day, they keep quiet because Nigerians are used to suffering and smiling and moving ahead. And now it is 2024. And yesterday being 31st December 2023, the same prophecy has been released and Nigerians again in 2024 are being enthusiastic and saying, this government will favor I and my family. I wonder when we begin to expect things that are wrong to favor us. But again, it is pertinent and imperative for us to know that when there is no change of plan, there will be no change of destiny. That if we must bring the change we want as Africans, as Akebrans, as Africans, as Nigerians, we must first change our political arena. Nigeria, so many things happened in 2023 and they are going to repeat themselves if we do not stand up as one people and say enough is enough. Fox Populi was day, the voice of the people is the voice of the gosh. Wisdom Africa is the principal thing.